Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Got something new today. The Omega Complex. I have never seen Forsaken before. Now, I played Cold War Zombies when it first came out, and I played D Machine, and I played a little bit of Firebase Z, and that's it. I have never seen. Oh, round two already? What the hell? I have never seen Forsaken. I've never seen Outbreak. I haven't seen the other one. Was it Mower Mower the Toten? Is that it? Never seen it. Why are we? Why are we on round three already? And I wanted to come back. Black Ops Six is literally the this week it comes out, and I wanted to see what it was like to play the Cold War maps. I'm confused. Hold on, I need to think here. What is going on? Do I need to go through this portal? Why is the round going so fast? I've never played. The Cold War maps after really the machine. And I wanted to go back to see them before Black Ops 6 came out. Now, I've played a lot of COD Zombies in the past. I have played everything since World of War. No joke. Apart from Modern Warfare 3. I've not played the newest installment of COD Zombies, but I have played everything else. And recently, I've been back playing. Black Ops 3 to get into it again, enjoying myself, doing some custom maps and, and having a good time. Look at that, I'm only level 30 in this. Doing some custom maps and enjoying myself on Black Ops 3 for the PC, but never had went back to anything else. So I figured why not go back and try out Cold War, see how Cold War fared, see how it stands up to the test of time and, and explore this map for the first time because I've never seen it before so I thought it'd be quite cool I'm kind of confused as to why the round is still going it kind of reminds me of No Man's Land from Moon which I enjoy Moon I'm a big Moon fan but I think we maybe head through the teleporter here and see what else is in store because like I said I'd only ever played D Machine Die machine? D machine? I think is what it is. We're in round seven now, god damn. What's this? The horror. I'll take this. Yeah, it was the right decision to take this. I don't know, I just kinda picked up oh my days. I just kinda picked up the M16 as my starting loadout. That's what I had equipped before. So I don't know how it's actually gonna oh my days. I don't know how it's gonna fare in the long run. But it's quite strong, so I can't really complain. Are we really on round seven and getting all of this? All of these zombies? Now, the, the Cold War mechanics I'm less aware of. I have played a game of D-Machine. Oh, here's Jug. Is that on? Yeah. I think it's so weird you can buy perks without power in this. Because what I was going to say is that I have played a little bit of D-Machine. Played one or two games of D-Machine, I think, since coming back to Cold War. And just for the reason that it, the systems are a lot different compared to Black Ops 3 and older ones. But having been able to having the ability to buy power before or buy perks before power is so weird to me. This is cool though, I like this. It looks like we've teleported inside a facility and some, some kind of facility. I've not followed the Cold War story as much as I have previous stories, I'm not too sure what's going on in the Aether, the Dark Aether storyline. I can't quite remember what it is now. Um, but, I mean, the map looks amazing. I love this kind of, what would this be, 80s style? Oh, hi, chill. I love this. The way it looks is cool. But we are inside. Oh, what the heck is that up there? I haven't seen anything on this map. I've watched no videos. I, I literally was playing... Cold War and was like, huh, we should check out some of the other maps that they have. And I thought, figured, why not? COD Zombies is about to come out again. Black Ops 6. I am so excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies. It's unbelievable. We can go through that door. There's a teleporter up there. I'm so excited for it that it's uh, insane. So I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 6 Zombies. And I figured, why not come back, play some zombies. Just quick revive. I do remember this game having self revives, so I think I do have a self revive down the bottom left there. This guy is running from me. But yeah, I wanted to explore Forsaken, see what it was all about. There's Jim's Donuts. What's in here? I do remember that Cold War was very kind of hand holdy, showing you what to do, where to go, and, and stuff. 
which is quite good, obviously, for coming back to maps like that. But I miss the being blind and exploring a map for the first time aspect. That's, oh, there's the box up there. I do enjoy that part of COD Zombies in general. Like, I remember playing the hell out of uh, Eisendrach when it came out in Black Ops 3, and it was just amazing running around that big castle. Do I need to open this gate, I'm guessing? We'll see what the teleporter does here. It's going to teleport me back up to the top, to the kind of uh, thing he's on, No Man's Land. Oh, no, I'm not. Where am I here? This seems to be some kind of controlled area. I've not been listening to the story. Or for the, the messages, but there's some... I'm guessing he's just talking about observation tower he means up there. I don't know what the hell that is, though. Main Street. So can I freely teleport? That's Main Street Bridge. That must have been where I was. Where am I now, though? Current objective is to get to the observation tower. Which I'm going to assume there's three ways to go. The arcade. That That's not a perk machine. That's just, <laughs> that's just an asset in the game. I like the I like the street aspect aspect of it. I like the fact that it's kinda like a fake town. I'm curious as to see why it's a fake town. Maybe do some research after playing through it. Coming soon, knocked down and told no oh, that's cool, nice callback to uh, World of War. Locked door, let's go in here. We've got a TV shop. This is cool, I do like this. Burger Town. Oh, it's Burger Town. Can't go up there. Sixty minute photo. So yeah, I remember that Cold War kind of holds your hand through map completion and in Easter egg progress and whatnot. So it's definitely a step back from, or in my opinion, a step back from Black Ops Three, which is the last thing I've got to compare it to in my mind. And recently, because I've been playing Black Ops Three, so it's kind of fresh on the memory. But. I don't mind it from coming from a new player. If you're a new player coming to play Cold War Zombies for the first time and you don't know Call of Duty or you don't know COD Zombies and what it's like, then I can imagine it being quite difficult. Let's speak Cola. I can imagine it being quite difficult to get into it and having to deal with exploring the maps and finding out how to do things and maybe it's not obvious how things work. Like, some maps point you towards the power, and others point you towards different things. What's this bend? Hind trap? What's the hind trap? I don't know what a hind trap is. Main street's blocked off there. I'm guessing we need to go into the cinema. No, the, the markers disappeared. I think I've unlocked something. Teleport. I need to go to the teleport over there. Okay. We need to make our way back to that teleport. I don't have many points. Maybe do another round. Why is this gold? Cathode ray tube. Oh, I need to collect stuff. For repairs. Crystallis Neutralizer Arcade Token. Wait, so there's Arcade Token? That's cool. I'm guessing I'm going to have to find stuff for the teleporter. Alright, let's go and check it out. I don't know where that teleporter's going to take us. There's a lot of teleporting around. Don't know how much of a fan I am of it. Obviously, when you teleport for the first time, you don't know where you are. Maybe get used to it. I'm not, I've not seen this map before, so... I don't know where it's taken. Is this not where we... Hold on a minute. Is this not where we came into the map? Needs repair. Ah, okay, so that's what repairs are for. So we found one piece. Pieces around here. I'm gonna guess they're all. Oh, wait, search area tells you. Okay. See, this is the kind of hand holding that I don't know if I'm a fan of. I think that being a burger. Wait, what's this? What does the what do the burgers do? Let's see if I can get a look at it. Heal. Health full. So they heal you. Oh, wait, there's the item in the corner there. I see it. I think I can jump out this window. Yeah, it makes. I mean. The story stuff, and the, the pointing in the direction and where to look and like, yeah okay it says search here, it doesn't point you directly to the item, but it kind of takes away from the fun of figuring out where things are, to begin with. Maybe we progress this round, grab some points and we can do some more exploring, maybe try and find somewhere that I can get a bit of a, a train going on. Oh wait, there's, there's the box, that was in the first zone wasn't it? How do we get back there? Not that... The box is as effective in Cold War, I, can't, I don't think. I can't quite remember. Take a carpenter. What's that, Semtex? Yeah. I almost stay out here. This bit was quite open. Search it. Ah, so we go into the cinema next. Okay. Well, we'll go there at the end of this round, I guess. And we'll see what is going on in the cinema. Apart from that. Oh, and by the looks of it, in the arcade. 
or video store. Is that not the arcade? Oh, the arcade's here. What are you? You explode. Oh, okay, great. Wonder if that's the replacement for like Nova crawlers in this. We do seem to be in some kind of lab, the Omega base or whatever it was before. It was mentioned right at the start. I think it was one of the first things I said was that we were in the Omega facility. So maybe that's what. He looks strong in it. Maybe that's what this is. But are they harnessing the power of the ether or what? Need to do some research and figure out what is going down. I don't know, maybe the Black Ops 6 story ties in. I did see the trailer for it with Richthofen and Samantha and whatnot under Liberty Falls. I think that looks cool. And I think they've got some kind of underground facility. If Liberty Falls has an underground section to the map, kind of like this, that would be insane. Because I think the map looks huge from what I've seen. I'll kill you, you're fast. The map looks quite big from what I've seen. And... I think the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is very open world, which I don't know how I feel about because I've never played an open world Zombies before, you know? And here's some beer. Can I jump out this window? Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Search area behind the kill. Oh, it's right here. There's another one in the video shop, I think. Maybe 600 points. We can maybe search this area. Yeah, 1250. What's this here? Meal kick, ah oh, nice. Action, drama, so we have to search. Oh, fuck. Search in here for something, or in the next room. Search area. Is this it? Yeah, see, it kind of grows, oh, we're in the arcade. Everything kind of grows, glows gold, and it kind of takes away, I think, from the, from the exploring of it all. If it said search area and the things were just regular like this, and this was the object, that would be fine. Maybe not, that's a bad example because it's yellow, but that would still be a fine. I wouldn't mind that. Do we have all the parts we do? So I think, if I remember correctly, this will then kind of take us to pack a bunch. Bolt to repair. Okay, build. And we teleport, presumably? Where to? Oh, okay. What's this then? This kind of looks like... Kind of looks like five. AK sent for you. Point is in this direction. Let's go through this door. And we're out of points. What the hell is going on in here? I'm so confused. That's a zombie. There's a teleporter at the end. Okay. I guess when we go through that teleporter, this looks like... Kind of like a mini particle accelerator, like they've got in the middle of the machine. Is that a workbench? Yeah. Wait, what did that say? Oh, was that one of the workbenches where you can like build stuff? Yeah, it's build equipment. Is that the Galil? Craig Six. I forget what guns are in Cold War. It's been so long. What's up here? An upper level. Ah, uh, we can see the accelerator there. But yeah, I, I quite like the, the round-based zombies experience. I think it's good. I think it's definitely... Oh, there's a door there. I don't have enough. Can we go through the teleport and get out of here? This looks like a nightmare to train zombies in. Grab that. I remember how the armor station works. I played a game of Die Rise. Or Die Machine. Not Die Rise. Bring back Die Rise. Oh, oh, it's powered up. Okay. Oh, what the hell is... What the hell is that? Abomination? Oh god, I need to kill that! Oh Jesus, right there! It looks like a... It looks like... Um, the guys... What the hell? Lightning attack? Oh, what are they called from Shadows of Evil? What the... What are they called? Big three-headed guys? But scarier. Oh, I do need to kill it. It's got a marker on it. Oh god. I didn't realize I'd have to do a boss fight to get out of here. Is it going to charge at me again? Okay, yeah, it did. I dodged it. Uh, can we get a lane of sight on it? Not really. It's going round again. Oh no, I killed the zombies. Ow. Oh wait, we're still on round 8. Nice. Oh no. Dodge. Oh, I got stuck in the wall! Open up! Abomination done. So I can get out of here now. Let's get out of here before the zombies spawn any. Oh, what the hell? 
What's this? Left lockdown. Is that PhD? Yo, PhD. PhD slider. What else is in here then? There's Pap, look. Okay, I knew this would be Pap. What is this? Wards. Oh, they've got the challenge things, don't they? Oh, so this is. Oh, wait, we're up in the tower. Okay. We can do a trial. We can go back to. What's this side? Isn't that nice. Is that. That's like a Geiger counter. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'll take the zip out. Damn. Okay, right. So we've got. Well, we lifted the lockdown, whatever the lockdown was. Not 100% sure what the lockdown was, but we lifted it. Uh, we're back on street level now. I wonder, can we go back to the no man's land bit at the beginning, I wonder? Oh wait, this door's open now. Oh, the portal's there to go back to it. Okay, cool. So this is where we come in because we got a jug right at the start. I remember that much. Oh, somebody at our back. Yeah, so I remember coming in grabbing jugs, so that must be the way out. So this kind of portal bit with the, the bar. The bridge. There's a bunch of shops. We need to have a look around the shops and see what's in here. Maybe my objective should be to extract. That would be cool. We can see about how we extract from this place. We have the max. Sure. Thank you very much. Is this? Oh, okay. From what I remember, the uh, the grenades and stuff in this are really strong. Let's test them out. Boom. That's a lot of dead zombies. Big fan of that. Big fan. I don't know, I think the extract's on level 10 or round 10, I think. Do we... We've got a shotgun, we've got the, the whore. How do you even say this? The whore? The whore? The hower? We take a run in the mystery box? Why not? I think we can get rid of this gun. Oh. Oh no. That was close. But I forget how the weapon tiers work as well, so this will be fun. I don't know if this is more or less damage than the M16, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. What else do we want to look at? Beach pla beach pizza? I thought I said beach plaza. Can we go in the pizza place? You can! What's this? Is that stamina up? 3500 for stamina up, really? Stamina up used to be like 2000. Why is it so expensive? Is that... I think that's the gun I used on the machine. The Gallo? Yeah, it is. The Gallo is pretty good. Is that an in That's an insta-kill, really? You dropped an insta-kill for me. So wait, can I just take this now? Video store roof. Oh, you can. So you can just infinitely take the portals. That's cool. You can just teleport around the map. What's in here? We didn't get a good look, did we? Uh, the zombies are coming back. Oh, bother. I do like this, though. Requires. Oh, wait, so that's what the arcade token's for. I wonder how you get an arcade token. Oh. We don't, we don't seem to have a mission anymore. Was the mission just to help us lift the lockdown, I'm guessing? That's cool. I'm a big fan. It's like a miniature town. It kind of seems like they were testing out uh, like the town vibe in Cold War and using using this as a setting for like Modern Warfare 3. Because I think Modern Warfare 3 is like open world, is it not? Let's go through the portal here. I was going to kill the guy. I think this is taking us back to... No oh no, it's not. Oh wait, we're back in this place with the abomination again. I thought this was taking us out to No Man's Land. Bet you there's a bunch of stuff I'm missing. Crystalist, neutralizer, arcade token, no idea where you get any of that stuff. But I'm not here to do the easter egg, I'm here to see the map and see what the map's all about. It's one of the ones I hadn't done. I've also not really done... Oh, I can't, there's another one, I now can't remember the name of it. And Firebase Z, I think. Wait, how did I open this door? And Firebase Z was the other one. Uh, that I didn't see. I have seen it in the past, or I've seen it very briefly, but not to any extent that I know anything on the map or can remember anything. I think I stopped playing Cold War just as Firebase Z came out. Oh, there's a portal. This takes you to any town. What's that? Oh, wait, I've looped back around. How did I do that? Okay. Wait, so I opened this door when I lifted the lockdown, I'm guessing. Bunch of stuff here. M60. I think there's a big camel grind in this as well, isn't there? There's a, there's a huge camel grind in Cold War and modern zombies and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be in Black Ops 6. I kind of looking forward to it. It gives you a better purpose. And I think the levels all being synced across all the game modes in Black Ops 6 is a, is a good thing. I think that will do a lot for the game or for zombies itself. 
just for the reason that more people will probably be inclined to play it and try it out instead of sticking to multiplayer to try and get prestige master or whatever on, on multiplayer uh, i think is this the way is that jug over there yeah but can we go back to i'm gonna go and check it out can we go back to no man's land and do the rounds just keep progressing while i'm there that'd be kind of nuts okay so this does actually take you back to the no man's land zone okay but the round doesn't going up as drastic uh, I don't know if I want to stay here for the round, so we'll head back. There's maybe stuff I'm missing in there, but I would rather be somewhere that is a bit easier to eliminate some zombies before we progress the round. Can't tell if this is stronger than the, the other one or not. Cool. I wonder if what, I can run through that one. On here. Hey, monkeys. Round 10. Round 10 is pretty good. Made it to round 10. I can't complain. Can I upgrade? No. Oh, hello there. I'm so used to playing kind of Eisendrach with the CUDA that having an MP5 or an SMG feels so comfortable to use. Even though I don't think in Cold War they were as strong. Or did, oh, there's one of these things here. Does it kill? No, it just knocked them down. That's kind of crazy. This seems like a lot of zombies for round 10. Are they dying and respawning because I'm too far or what? Like, what's going on? Damn, this has no ammo capacity whatsoever. I should have kept the M16. 30 bullets is not a lot. Level 31. I've used this quite a bit then. <laughs> I am a fan of the level up weapon system in either this game or in uh, Black Ops 3. That is something I like probably much to people's disagreement. Uh, should we let's let's get some points? Let's see. Oh, wait, we can extract. Where's that? How do we see the map? Is there a map? I don't know. Where do we, I mean? We're inside here. Is the no man's land a bit outside? Let's see. Hold on. Since this teleport's right. Wait, what's this? I'll take you. Epic. Is the right? So it's not out here. Okay, that's fine. I just thought because this was outside. It would make sense for it to be there, but obviously not. I think, where was stamina up? We've seen stamina up in one of these buildings, I think. I would like to get my grubby hands on stamina up. Not here. Oh, this is upstairs. Uh, how do we get... Do I go this way? Video store? Video store? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, so, oh, damn, that's 150 meters away. That's a, that's a big map. Oh, hold on. We need to thin the horde a little bit. Need to thin out the horde. I think I've got a bit of time to survive. Uh, I can make it out of this. Easy. Do a little zigzag. Try and get some of the, the rapscallions gone out of the way before we go in. I think I need to hold down. I did an extract on the machine. And I think you need to hold down on the, the button to call them in. So I'm wary of the fact that I need to do that. Let's see. Yeah, you do. Exfil. Go to Exfil site. Where's the Exfil site? Up there? The teleporter? Okay. We're going. Our on route. Wait, the helicopter's down. Wait, it said there was a helicopter down there on the money map. Where is the Exfil site? Through there? Okay. We're off. We're going. Exfil, here we come. Is this. So, this is where there's a lot of stuff. As far as I can remember, a lot of stuff spawns here. We need to do a lot of killing. Oh, God. Oh, no. 59 hostiles, okay. Maybe try and make use of this. It didn't kill any of them. There was a purple thing dropped over there, what's that? What's this? What is that? What's that? Oh, eh! Yeah, that'll... That'll do it. That'll do it. That sounded like a dog. Spawned. One left. Boom. Hey, that worked. Tomahawk. Board helicopter, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we successfully extracted from Forsaken, I think is what that map's called. I did quite enjoy it. I think going back and seeing it again, and, and, and now I cannot understand it to unlock the power or whatever it is, the lockdown that we lifted. I think that's going to be important. I don't know what the other collectibles are or what anything does, but it'd be cool to go back and, and see it. I think the map from 
the first 10 rounds at least looks pretty cool. I do like the aesthetic of it, I like the, the miniature town. Kind of eerie that you're in a big facility. Don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, I'll definitely maybe go back and give it a go and, and see if we can do any further. I think the easter egg, or I think there is an easter egg on that map, sorry. Um, I think just like there is on all the maps for Cold War, so it's pretty good. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Maybe consider subscribing, put it down there. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.